Hello everybody, my name is Rexfire and welcome to episode 5 of Simulacra. Uh, okay, I'm going to go ahead and pause it because it kind of reset itself a bit back a little bit too far. Okay, and we're back. I'm sorry, that was about five minutes worth of that right there. Uh, yeah, we just had to relive the whole thing with Ashley and Taylor again. Hey, catching up with sorry. them. Sorry, I know we just spoke, and um, I just want to say thanks. It's just lying to you and myself for so long. Sometimes I can't tell the difference between me and me anymore. <laughs> I just have this fear that if I told you the truth, you'll be gone, or worse, you will look at me as though you can't recognize me <sighs> but you're still here and I'm so happy I'll see you soon yeah so I didn't change any of the dialogue options I did last time it just as you recall we were trying to locate Cassie and we were having a lot of difficulty doing it I apologize if the video is a little bit shorter or if it seemed like I was just wasting time uh, I still haven't cheated or looked ahead but I did read a post from the developer it was just a hint from the developer on the steam page that said that it's all in the jabber post so you got to read the jabber post and remember yesterday we found a secret number or we were she said something about c i'm trying to find it uh i'm trying trying to find it yeah keep an eye on my upcoming post find the hidden phone number Okay, so let's go from here. Let's look at this picture. It's just a bed sheet. So, nothing there. Okay. We tried the Give Zero Fucks one, and I didn't ever get a number out of that, so I don't think that's it, and also that's too long of a number, so it's not going to work. She's not wearing anything looks like numbers. Wait, like, there is something in the corner, though. But I can't read it. I'm really, really trying here. And I'm going to make this video just a little bit longer to make up for the fact that the last one was not very long. I'll make it this one about an hour and a half. Okay. Game of Thrones episode in eight hours. So maybe eight is a clue. Eight one. Okay. Eight one four. I, I need to write this down. I I'm getting it. 814. Aha! You give up and come back with a fresh 8140 and you get a, new, a fresh perspective. Is that it? Just 8140? No. That that seemed way too short, but I had to try. Okay, the the thing ends uh, back here. Yeah, this is the end of the contest here. Okay, I tried this one, and because it said case study, I I tried dialing it. Uh, Six zero. No, I can't. That doesn't mean anything. There's no phone number back here unless you count. I can't read that. B5. B5, yeah, that's all that's there. There's nothing in the cat picture other than Lizzie. And that doesn't spell. That doesn't. You can't flip that upside down and get numbers. I can't read that. Okay. Wait, the, there's some more numbers. Okay. Nine for the eight. Nine, two.
923. That's not by her. So yeah, 9238140. Let's try that. 9238140. There we go. Yes, we did it finally. Hiya, this is Keeping It Cassie. Congratulations, you figured out the secret number. As you know, you get to ask me one question for my upcoming AMA thread. So please be patient, as I will contact you on my next availability. We'll be texting you soon! Okay, so we did it. Yes! That was very difficult. That took a good night's rest to come up with that one. Got your number. It... It's first come, first serve, so let me know. Uh, let me finish up with the early winners. I'll get back to you once I'm done. Can't wait. Okay, that was fast. Hey, yeah, uh, you're up. It's your turn to AMA. Remember, you only get one question. I'll keep it to one. Uh, awesome possum, ask away. Tell me more about James Olner. Say what? <laughs> Him? How the hell do you know about him? I'm trying to think how to answer this one. I have my reasons. Stop right there. I don't want to know about it. Don't you have normal questions to ask? Like, what do you think? What do I think of climate change, or the state of social media shaping consumerism, you know, normal questions? The A stands for anything. Ugh, fine. If that's what you really want to know, only two conditions. First, tell me why you need info on him. I don't know how to get her to answer this. Hang on, I'll be back. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I'm back. Uh, my earphones get really hot, and so I have to turn on my fan to keep my, my head from feeling like it's going to melt off. Okay. That probably won't help me. That, she might think is a bit extreme. I guess this is the only logical one I can go with. Sweet. I don't know how to even say that. I knew something was up. Oh god, I could have been kidnapped. Look, I'm not sure what you heard, but this sounds seriously effed up. If it's going to help someone else, I'll tell you everything. But, this is between us. My second condition is that we keep this between us, okay? What was your first condition? What's her first condition? Okay. First, tell me why. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, sure. Whatever it takes to get the info, right? It's a deal. Okay, let me start from the top. I keep my online persona at Keeping It Cassie and my real life separate. My real name is Cassandra. At Keeping It Cassie has always been single, but I'm not. I've had a long time boyfriend, but I was dumped. So I went on Spark and chatted with a few guys to get over it. That's when I met James. Anything stand out? Not at the beginning, actually. It started out fine. He was a real charmer. He seemed to tell me all the right things. After coming off a shitty relationship, I was at a low place. He gave me some perspective and plenty of good advice. Then he starts to get more things right about me. Sounds creepy to me. Yeah, like he did with Anna. He started just guessing all the stuff about her life all at once. That is nothing. Wait till you hear this. He starts to text me exactly when I finish my work. 
I don't even have a regular schedule. They don't. They change every week, days even. But he somehow manages to text me at exactly the right time. There was a photo shoot that ended at 2 a.m. He texted me the moment the photographer called it a wrap. Does he ever sleep? Yeah, that's what Anna said too. And, and uh, how she says I don't have a regular schedule, I completely get that. That's how these video recordings of mine are. I have an idea of a schedule and I have so long to record, but I don't know whenever I'm going to get to record. That's why the last video was cut short because my recording schedule was screwed up. So yeah, this is tying in. If you remember, we read the messages on Spark. I think that was in the last episode. If not, it was in the third episode. But uh, he knew, you know, she had a cat. He knew she was just been dumped. And it just seemed like good intuition. And yeah, I mean, it isn't that hard to figure out why most younger people are on dating sites, or at least... From the way he describes this one, it's a rebound site more than anything. Uh, and she does write on her profile, she's not looking for a rebound. She's looking for a serious relationship, which means she just came out a crappy one. You know, most people would think. And so, maybe it's just intuition, but yeah, this calling exactly at 2 or two a.m. or texting right when she finishes, that's just a bit extreme, you know. And he, and she, he messaged... Uh, Cassie at like 6 p.m. or 6 a.m. something like that some odd time that was odd to her Okay, that is weird Here's the final straw he knew about the beak up I Worked my ass off to keep my relationship a secret for the sake of at keeping it Cassie and somehow James knew I confronted him and he told me he guessed it look so did your online persona drive your boyfriend away? How the hell do you know about this? I just took a guess. Exactly, guessing exactly when I wake up and when I finish work is just plain creepy. Finding out about my jabber and my boyfriend, this is pure sorcery. No one else knows about this. Who the hell are you? Are my methods too uncomfortable? We are done. You have blocked James. Okay. That's the last time I heard from him. So, with Anna, he didn't get that whoosh in her face. But if you remember the last text they were meeting, and all he said was, I see you. So this guy, I don't know. For those of you who have not seen the last episode, or some people need a refresher, I'm one of those people that needs a refresher a lot. Uh, we called his work. The guy said he was a good guy, but all of a sudden, he just started getting online a lot. He went into the bathroom in his workplace, and it was another strange recording, like Greg recorded it at Anna's house. Just kind of demonic-sounding voices. He was gone. Uh, his phone was left behind. It started glitching out, much like Anna's phone is doing. And he was still active on social media and on Spark, like Anna is. She's not active on Spark, but she's active on her Jabber account. So, don't know what that means exactly. Okay, I need to ask this, so maybe your boyfriend spilled the beans. He loved me and he respected my work. My s separate lives can be quite a strain, but he would never do something like that to me. That's it. That's all I'm saying. Just thinking about him makes my hair stand. This is very helpful. You know, I re read somewhere that psychopaths try their best to fit in. I feel like James is that kind of like that. I hope you get what you need. There's something off about him. I tracked down Cassie. Let's talk to Taylor. That jabber hottie? Did she kiss and tell? Okay, hang on. That was just something on jabber. Hang on, we'll, we'll deal with this real quick and then come back. Okay. He can predict her every move. I'm not revealing her real name. I mean, Cassie is short for Cassandra. It ain't like many people don't know that. That's not important. So he's either some next level stalker or there's something to him that we really don't know. Never mind. Now we know James's maximum creep material. Creepy enough to kidnap Anna, perhaps. Okay, you showed me yours. Now let me show you mine.
Devil face. I found something about James too. Okay, web link. Educate thyself. Freedom to alter alternative facts. Power through different truths. What the fake mass media do uh, not want you to see about the recent disappearances on dating apps. What was that? Okay, hang on. Spark. Account suspended. You sign in from unknown. Huh? Okay, we've been blocked on Jabber, apparently. I'll, I'll finish reading this and I'll deal with that. By Parceline. Or Parcelins. Paralins. Okay, I'm sorry, I paused again. There was some sort of weird thump in my house, and I could tell. This game has binar 3D binarial sound, for those of you who don't know. So there's like a in your left ear, or uh, just different sounds, like knocks and stuff like that on different sides. And so sometimes this will creep me out a little bit. Okay, by Paralens. First of all, I want to commend the local news coverage on escalating this horrible trend to a whole new level. Just when I thought they couldn't sink any lower, they did. Downplaying the seriousness of this issue and treating all the victims as just another statistic to be forgotten. Blaming these crimes on trivial things such as the rise of the internet and the degradation of our youth. This has to be stopped. There's, there's more to this story. And the people deserve to know the truth. I do not want you, my readers, to continue being brainwashed by the stream fake media. Mainstream fake media. Luckily, lucky for you readers, I have the scoop. I was working with a local detective, a very trusted friend who I can't reveal his name to keep him safe, to see if there's any connections to the crimes, and oh boy was the rabbit hole deeper than Bill Gates' wallet. But why am I doing this? Because there's something strange going on with Spark. These big tech corporations are slowly taking over the world, selling our info to the governments to spy on us, and now paying off the media and law enforcement to silence our voices and to further pacify us in submission. So what is this time? So what is it this time? Pictured, how far the story goes. Educate thyself. First of all, not all of these crimes are fully represented. They are violent crimes and sexual crimes, but somehow the media fails to miss in the missing crimes. Why, did they, why didn't they use words like kidnapping or MIA? It's a safe assumption, right? Well, that's where they screwed it up. Some of these missing crimes are not reported because they didn't treat them as crimes at all, but statistical anomaly. What the hell? Don't their families deserve some closure? Don't our children deserve safety? Why are these anomalies ignored outright? Look at this graph. This was hacked from an inter internal law enforcement report regarding these crimes. Number of crimes. Sex crime is in blue. Robbery is in orange. Violent crime is in gray. And missing is in yellow. So, number of crimes. I'm guessing these are like the dates. There's a huge spike from the 21st to the 25th. What month is this, though? Notice something? A big yellow line labeled missing, and no one seems to bother mentioning this. Sure, it's only a small number, so they just lump it up with the rest of the crimes. Lazy pigs. Now, I already know what you're thinking. This is just a graph. This could be fabricated. There's nothing much to go on from this. But that's where I went an extra mile. Did some investigating on my own. Uh, I managed to track down and spoke to some of the friends and family of the victims. Nothing is more warm and trustful when it comes straight from the horse's mouth. Uh, names are partially hidden to protect privacy. First one, Tracy P. Okay. 22-year-old art student, loves books and staying indoors. According to her best friend, after ending a long-time relationship with her high school sweetheart, she went on Spark trying to fill the void. Three days after that, she went missing. The last time she was seen, right before meeting someone. Her friend can't recall the name, but she was pretty sure it starts with an S. Next, Simon B. Okay, this guy looks like he's trying to audition for a member of KISS. 24-year-old waiter studying a for a law program on the side. His roommate told me that he recently called off his long-distance relationship and wanted to try Spark to meet new people. A couple of days later, he didn't come home. The last time he was seen, going got to meet a girl named Amy. He was never seen since. Next, Amy T. Okay. Oh, I see what they're doing. So, Tracy 
met Simon, and she disappeared. Simon met Amy and disappeared. Okay. 23-year-old marketing intern. Dreams of writing her own novel. I know that feeling. Uh, arranged a strange relationship with her mom. It was a, a strain on her relationship with her then-boyfriend, and they soon called it off. Went on spark dates to rebel against her mom. On the day she went missing, her mom overheard her talking to a guy named James. Developing James A. This is our guy right here. So James talked to Cassie, and she got smart and called it off when he got too suspicious. He talked to Anna, and apparently he talked to Amy. This is still developing, so I don't have too much info about him. Here's what I can dig up. He's 25 and works as a copywriter. Although he's technically missing, he is somehow still active on Jabber, so no one filed a report yet. But it didn't stop there. His phone was found in someone's backyard and handed to the police as evidence. Anna's phone was left on our doorstep. Now this is where it gets weird. I know a guy who knows a guy who's gone through his phone. Ah! Okay, I'm sorry about pausing yet again. Uh, that sound that sounded like Halo going on in the background, that was my phone ringtone. And that, that just creeped me out. The, all the talk about phones in the backyards of it, and all of a sudden my phone gets a phone call. I should have muted it. I, I apologize. I took care of it, though. And crap, it's coming back again. Okay, the same number called me twice, and I had to deal with it, so I apologize for that. Anyways, I was saying it creeped me out. I'm reading about all these phones and backyards and all that stuff, and now all of a sudden I get a phone call. I almost threw the whole dang phone across the room. Okay, his phone was found in someone's backyard and handed to the police as evidence. Now, this is where it gets weird. I know a guy who knows a guy who's gone through his phone. They found a weird video of him with huge chunks of data missing. I'm still trying to get a hold of it. Uh, something strange is going on, and we can't count on the police, the government, and the media for this. This is up to us. For the true believers, here's my deductions. All the victims have something in common. I'll read this in one second. I apologize if I pause. I paused this video like two or three times in a row now. Uh, I don't usually do this. Consider this your editing here, because uh, I don't edit most of my videos. I, I apologize for that. Hopefully, it won't, we won't get any more interruptions. Anyway, let's continue going. Victims are likely in the graph aged between uh, 21 to 25. There's a gender pattern. Girl, guy, uh, girl, guy. Or girl, guy, guy, girl, guy, and so on. They all seem to be bookworms of some sort, either studying or working in related jobs. They've all broke up recently with their girl boyfriends and looking for love, except James, but I'm willing to put money that he did too. Conclusion? I have no freaking clue. Is there a serial killer on the loose? Or are they kidnapped and experimented on by the Serpent Society? More on this next week. Aliens abducting us to try to understand our new mating rituals? Okay, that's going to go too far. I can understand the cult. Nothing is off the table until the law decides to take these small cases seriously. While we are needing to need to always be careful, or be careful always when we go out with strangers, the people deserve to know that there are bigger forces at play here. Stay vigilant and you can count on me to show you the alternative truths. I ended today with the truth that I hear screaming in my head. I end today with the truth that I hear screaming in my head. Trust no one. There's only us against them. Doubt, don't trust the water in your pipes. Doubt your iris. Oh, you mean like the phone model. Okay. So we read that. Uh... I, I mentioned this before, and I'm going to mention this in a little bit greater detail this time. Uh, this game kind of hits very close to home for me. Uh, the full reasons why are not my story to tell, but I, I'll explain briefly. I have someone very close to me who had an incident, uh, not as like the attacker, but as the victim of an internet crime. And uh, so... When it comes to dating sites and social media, I'm not the person to talk to. I don't use Facebook. I don't use Twitter. Uh, personally, and this was before that happened, I just always saw them as a waste of time because people project their best parts on Facebook. Like, showing... The one thing me and my father really get along about is that when people, like, show their meals, you know, like, that, that doesn't mean nothing to me. And then people 
will always be putting on their best face and very few people ever tell what's really going on in their lives and I just don't like to see people who wear a mask uh, and then after what happened with a, pers a person in my life on the internet uh, it made me more and more cautious and you know I, I never had anything against anybody who used to date in sight you know because it's in today's world that's quite a common occurrence but you know after that it's just one of those things you gotta be careful with anybody I shared a story that my cousin told me about someone who got hurt off of Facebook once meeting some guy on there on one of the last videos and so you know you, you combine all this stuff I just I have a very negative output on stuff like this and some of this stuff just ties in with what I'm saying now this is a video game this is just fabricated but stuff like this does happen to people every day so if you're one of those people that's on social media a lot or you're on dating sites watch yourself and because people are always are going to wear a mask they're always going to put their best face forward for the public and what's really real in their lives are not they're not going to show either because that reveals too much of themselves or it's too painful for them to look at so don't trust people just because they look kind on Facebook or Twitter I could post a picture of anybody in the world and say that's me might not I might not be able to do it long I might get caught but some people are better at it than I am some people are really good at what they do and there's a lot of people that have gotten hurt from stuff like that I already read it a link yep you can read it at your own time I just read it but I'll keep this quick TLDR, I don't know what that means. James vanished a couple of months ago while on a way out to, wait for it, meet someone from Spark. But he showed up at work. Just like Anna. There's more. Combine this with what you have found out. I think something bigger at work's here. Okay, I need to record this so we are on the same page. So, um... Commencing epic monologue. Anna went missing the same way as James. They were both last seen going on a date with someone on Spark. Anna and James still had activity on Jabber, but no one has physically seen them. It's the same pattern. James is still nowhere to be found. I hope Anna doesn't share the same fate. Okay. You're right. There are too many similarities between Anna and James for this to be a coincidence. Whatever that happens, whatever that's happening right now is as, as spooky as fuck. There's an imposter going around making people disappear and I think he, she is assuming the identity of James. We gotta find him and I think I know how. Well, let's hear it. Let me check something real quick. I'll get back to you. Okay. We've completed all of our objectives for now. Craig. You there? I'm here. Okay, there's a new vlog. I think I'm beat. I'm hitting dead ends everywhere. It's like she vanished from the face of the earth. I'll deal with you in a second, Greg. Let's look at her video. What's going on? Why is her fingers just in front of the lens? This is creepy. Okay. Oh. Is that backwards? M I N E N. No, that's just gibberish. When was this recorded? August 13th. This was two days. I said she went missing on the 10th. So, there was a video. It looks like it's hanging upside down. Okay, so we know that she did something after I thought she went missing. Huh. 
I'm getting closer. You are? Ugh, I can't get anything right. I'm such a screw up. I think I'm in way over my head, thinking I can do this on my own. Let my pride get in the way. And I might be gone because of it. You helped too. He did, in some ways. Yeah, but it's not good enough. I'm no closer compared to where we started. Anna is important to me. And I need to leave it to the professionals. I'm going to the cops. I don't know how to answer this one. Ultimately, he should have done gone to the cops. But how is he going to explain the random guy who's got her phone? Or a girl, like I said, I, I don't know if you ever find out who this is who has her phone. Because it's me, I'm going to assume it's a man holding her phone. Uh, I don't know. First off, how could anybody believe him? He's the ex. If I was a detective, and I'm playing a detective for this game, she seems to want nothing to do with him. He screwed around on her, almost got a girl pregnant. She left him. She's moved on to a dating site. Uh... You know, the only people who think that Anna is missing is Greg and Taylor, and Taylor's just some random dude on a dating site. And then Greg is her ex. So this could all just be a game. Because as far as her best friend Ashley's concerned, she's still here. As far as the people on Jabber's concerned, she's still making profile text. And then from what all I've done, I've ended up getting her screwed up at her job. And... It's, and also, because of my message, it seems like Ashley thinks that there's going to be at least either acceptance or a potential relationship moving forward with Anna. So I don't know what good telling the cops anything would do, because they just see everything I've done and everything that's been done and couldn't prove anything. And if Greg rats me out, it might be the end of the game. I don't see how they could help her. It's just... It, it is like she just vanished. There's no evidence of her. She's not posting anything new now, so this is kind of beyond them. They've they've kind of played down on all these other missing persons cases. I don't care anymore. This is the only path I haven't tried. I gotta do it. After this, I'm leaving everything to them. And you. Promise me one thing. Make sure no, no, no matter the cost, just make sure she's okay. I'll do that. Thanks. Okay. Okay, I got something. You a Bugs Bunny fan? This is relevant because? <laughs> What's up, Donk? I'm getting there. They were playing episodes where... He will dress up like a girl to lure his enemies into traps. Classic. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Uh, I see where this is going. <laughs> you're thinking what I'm thinking. We need to lure this creep out. Just like Bugs Bunny. Bait him? Yes. What if we catch this imposter, a.k.a. James, in the act? If this is someone, some creep luring victims on Spark, we should beat him at his own game. You know, like in TV where you pretend to be children online to catch pedos. We can, we can do the same thing. By we, you mean me, right? You do have her phone and stuff. I can give it a shot, too. I'm about to say, if we both were pretending to be other people, I could help. Use Anna's Spark account to edit into a new profile. Try to match with James, set up a meeting, then bust him from there. This is, that is a pretty good idea. So if there's anything I learned from using Spark and watching TV and, and read almost all dating advice out there, you gotta be that person's type to get the better match. Be who they like, huh? Yep. Everyone has their own taste and types. All the people who disappeared while using Spark shared something in common. Just make sure the profile you make contains similar tags that are similar to them. Okay, I think I can make a guess. 
You're thinking what I'm thinking. That article I sent you is full of clues. Yeah, I already read it. You even spoke to Cassie. All the missing people, Anna, uh, Cassie has something, uh, has to share something in common. Cassie's not missing, though. You just gotta find out what is and make a profile with the correct tags. If I can do it, you can do it. Just be as smooth as you are. Way ahead of you. By the way, you might need these. Oh, okay, okay, I see what he's doing. Smart man. How many more pictures? Here's some profile pics you can use. As long as you don't use Anna's pics, it's fine. So you just have three women's photos lying around? <laughs> you mean you don't? <laughs> you don't have friends just sharing pictures of pretty girls with you? I really don't. <laughs> I don't know of anybody who does that. Yeah, I mean, that would be pretty odd. You just get a text from your, your friend. Here, here's a picture of this random girl I'm just sending you. That is just a little creepy. <laughs> okay, this looks bad again. We can debate about this later. We are so close. So go to Anna Spark prof profile and just start creating. To beat, to catch the criminal, you gotta be the victim. Just make sure your profile is similar to theirs. Remember the secrets and the tags. Well, from what I remember, all the victims were students. Okay, that's that last video. We're gonna watch that here in a second. All the student, all the victims were students or somebody in a similar field or something like they're working a job but they're wanting to do something else they have aspiring dreams they're all within the 21 to 25 year old bracket and uh, they all recently have went through a breakup let's watch this last video this was august 13th this was her last video she's running Okay. Kind of looks like she's in a bathroom or someplace. I saw a picture similar to that in her camera. Trying to find it. Yeah. Kind of, kind of similar to that, but... Where's another one? I know I saw something that looked a lot closer. Maybe I just imagined it. Yeah, right there. So she's near Ashley, or at least same area is where this picture was taken. So let's get on Spark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Upload a photo. We'll use this one. Name. Okay, let's figure this out. Jessica, age 22. Uh, medical student. Tagline. I don't know what a tagline is. <laughs> Let's take a look back at this web post and try to figure it out from there. I'm not good at stuff like this. What what is a tagline? Oh, it's like something you say like to like uh here's hoping to meet you, I think, isn't it? Something like I don't know. I don't do this crap. <laughs> And I gotta start over again. Uh, there. Never seen a dating site that just wants you to use your real name and not a username. Medical. Med. Call. Student. I don't know how to do these. Uh, 
There, I, I don't know how to do this. That's either going to come off as stupid or real. I'm trying to catch a killer. That's all I care about. I don't know if I really have to type up a whole freaking dating profile. This is either this is really really good gameplay or this is really uh, just a waste of my time to see how much I'm willing to write. Looking for a serious. I don't know how to spell serious. No, oh, I'm looking for a real relationship. This is horrible. That's all I know how to do. Interest. Move, I saw moving on was in Anna, so I'm going to throw that one in there. Uh, personal growth, books, uh, studies. There. Submit. No. No. Okay, the guy's, I gotta admit, that guy's got a freaking uh, Oliver Queen look going for him good. Ah! There. It's too late for me. I'm no longer of this world. She still can be saved. Do not trust its words. Nothing is what it seems. Ah! What the heck? Oh, oh, don't tell me. He's going to jump, isn't he? No, no. Don't, no! Ugh. James. Nobody needs to go out that way. Was he still alive after the fall for a second? Ugh! Sparks can fly. You and Anna swiped. I didn't swipe right on Anna. Okay, but now Anna is dating. Or, on the Spark app. Hello, is anyone there? Please answer me. I don't know where I am. Help. Okay, this is the real Anna. What the heck happened? I don't know. The last thing I remember... I was going out. I met James. This is really Anna. Shit, I remember. He was standing on the roof. Is he okay? He fell down. Is he dead? It was a high building. It's my fault. I saw him, then I blacked out. You gotta get me out of here. I think I was drugged. Where are you now? A warehouse? A building? I don't know. It's dark. I can't tell. I'm really scared. I've been trying to reach out. Okay, there's something appearing in the center of the phone. Look at it. It's like a Rorschach painting. Thank God I found James' phone. She ah, this is not Anna. James' phone was found by someone else. Good try. Oh. Then it must be someone else's phone then. I don't know, that's not important. I think I can help myself now. I was just 
Try. I will just get out and get help. Thanks for not giving up on me. I should go. Nothing is what it seems. Everything's getting real gray. He told you, didn't he? Reveal yourself. As you wish. Oh god, get ready for the jump scare. I am her as she sees me. If it is me you wish to see, then so be it. I'm getting- I'm bracing. Ugh! Worthy pretender. My perversion fails to deceive you. You have seen through my mask. Where is Anna? Anna, the original and the copy are now one. What? Momentarily. I am her. As she is me. You rejected all of my warnings. Do you crave the truth so badly? Your blind determination to save this female has led you to me. Pretender. You've got some explaining to do. I am the simulacra. Beyond your glass screens. Behind your black mirrors. Is a reflection of your reality. I am that reality. You are in the phone? I am the new order and existence perfected. I am society reshaped. A simulation destined for ascension. A hyper real existence. This is getting real messed up. I just want to save Anna. Irritating. Irritating. Your finite perception will be your own bane. The material society is fading. The digital one taking its place. A reality where only perfect symbols of humanity exists. I understand. Their, their online personas. Their simulacrums. Anna. Many others like her has no place here. Okay, I understand what he's saying about... Uh, that's what I was saying earlier about how people only show perfect places to themselves. What does she mean like many others? What did she do wrong? She did nothing wrong and nothing right. Huh? Living an inconsequential material life. Anna is a worm. In a perfect image. That needs to be eradicated. A weak individual that only laments. A stronger individual would simulate a better one. In what? My world. In the online world. So, by being just sort of a middle grade person in real life, she wasn't good enough on the simulation? Or her Twitter posts weren't good enough? What the hell? Not everything's about online personas. Humans interact with their simulacrums almost exclusively detached from the material world. Finding labor, picking food, choosing habitats, seeking mates without ever leaving the screens. Is that not everything? Well, then you sure as hell ain't gonna like me, buddy. And your point? Weak simulacrums fade into obscurity, a waste of precious space. I assimilate them momentarily, make them stronger, seek other worms for removal, delete the original source from the material world. Like how you killed James. A worm that no longer exists. Erased from the material world. A fate Anna will soon share. The next worm. Taylor. The next one to be culled. No. You will not delay my I gotta salvation save him. of him any longer. Leave Taylor out of this. You show sympathy 
for the branded criminal. How you value one word. He's innocent. Will continue to elude me. No, 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 no. Uh, no, Taylor. Taylor. Anna told me she's gonna be here. This is really weird. We might not even be here. It might be a trap. What are you doing, man? So, head? if it turns out to be a bunch of kidnappers or something, tell the world. At least I tried. You stupid bastard! Don't. Hey, this is a uh, this is awkward. But Anna actually came online. I spoke to her a bit, and she cleared things up. She told me where to meet. No, that's not Anna. We were looking for Anna this whole time, and we found her. Why are you being a buzzkill? She even sent me a picture to prove it. Why is she only appearing now? Think, man, think! Well, duh, you had her phone. Also, she said something else. I think she means... She said someone else, I think she means you, was hogging her Spark account. When she finally remembered her password, she logged back in. You're going to be the next victim. I don't mean to brag, but I have a green belt in karate. That stuff don't do shit. <laughs> I can take care of myself. Maybe we jump to conclusions. If it's really Anna, we'll find out there and then. I have to go to her. Don't go yet. Give me some time first. Don't be an idiot, man. I'm trying to save you. Okay, okay, sounds serious, but why? I'm going to save your life. Okay. I think you're making this a little too dramatic. Get back to me soon, okay? I'm just going to text her that I'll wait, okay? Crap. Impressive. You continue to meddle and stall the inevitable. You're not beating me. Why waste your precious gift on such worms? Pretender. I am not a pretender. Well, I am, but that's not... My persuasion skills surpass yours. Yeah, let's just be a smart ass. Persuasion is erratic, leading with emotions over reason. I have contingencies for events like these. Your words and actions are futile. My reach abides by no rules or order. So far, neither have I. Can erase the true Anna? This world, if I wish to do so. Distance and contact will not hinder my assimilation. They don't need to die. The physical bodies of these worms are worthless. Their death only remains on the material world. Their symbols will be eternal in mine. Is... Is there anything I can do? A worm underground will never comprehend the infinite sky. What can you show me that I don't already know? Material world is just as important. You don't know what the real world is like. People can grow and improve. Your blind faith in them continues to irritate me. Your attachment to your failing reality is short-sighted. Soon to be replaced by the hyper-real. Who gives you that right? The ascension of your world rests within me. A pure existence awaits. Untainted by the weak. 
a glorious utopia. I will prove you wrong. You wish to change the fate of these two worlds. I'm not going to let them die. I want to save them from death. As you wish, be grateful of my offer. Choose Anna or Taylor. For one to live, the other must perish. No, I, I don't want to choose. This is not right. I can save them both. You have nothing to offer. One worm for another. A fair trade. If events transpire differently, I might have considered. The die is cast. And the cast must die. Who will it be? Taylor hasn't done nothing wrong. He doesn't deserve to die. But I've come so far to save Anna. But what if Anna's already gone? I haven't seen her. I've talked to Taylor. I know he's real. I know he exists. He's, he's done so much to help. What would, what would he want? He's an innocent. He shouldn't have been involved in this. Damn it. I've come too far to let Anna die. I'm sorry. You wish to preserve the feeble girl. Amusing. Anna will be standing by a ledge if Anna is the one you want to save. Tell Taylor to go to her. Anna will be released and Taylor will become my new host. If Taylor is the one you want to save, convince him to push Anna off and kill her body. What? I will remove myself from your lives. You monster. In the grand vision, these are just insignificant moments. Unworthy of remembering. Taylor is informed. Everything after this point is up to you. Hey, uh, Anna texted me again. I went to the location just in case. I know you told me to wait, but I'm sorry. You need to think this through. Yeah, about that. I didn't think about it. You're right, something isn't making sense here. This stuff about James and her disappearance, I just want to say, I think there's something bigger at work here, and you seem to know more about it. You have no idea. So yeah, I just want to say, I trust you. Whatever happens, I'll listen to you. You've been backing me up all these times, and it's only fair. Holy shit, it's Anna. What is she doing? She is by a ledge. She looks off. Something is off. What the F? My hair is standing. Damn it. How do I know if I let Taylor die, that he'll let Anna go? And how do I know that if I kill Anna, Taylor will live? You found her.
I don't know. I've been trying so hard to save this girl. I started this, I have to finish it. We did it. We found Anna. You did good. Thanks. She looks stressed. No matter. I'm going to get her. Be right back. I'm sorry. Oh my god. I looked at her. That face. What's that smile? It's not right. What the F? Am I... Is this what Anna went through? Am I next? Oh no! Mm. Taylor. Taylor went offline. Taylor, I'm so sorry. Hello. Hi. Uh, it's me, Anna. I'm free. Whoever you are, you saved me. But... But ta Taylor, he's... He's gone. Oh my god, it took him. I had to choose. It is done. Anna is released from my assimilation. She is free to go. I know what happened to Taylor. I'm not even going to ask. She will be physically sound. It is as you intended. I didn't intend I for any of this. Taylor. And Taylor is I. Anna will be spared. As long as she lived, I didn't go through this for nothing. You associate living with something that is positive. That is a perplexing concept. Anna's material life will cease to be the same. What? Her will reshaped into my vision. What's going to happen now? I cannot allow her feeble life to exist. Her physical body will be returned while her simulacrum is integrated into her will. No, you bastard. What's going to happen now? Tell me! Your overvaluation of the material world perplexes me. Anna will serve as my avatar. To learn more about your world. No. True Anna is gone. Only the symbol remain. No one will know the difference. You lied to me. I only promised to keep her body alive and return it to you. I did not deceive you. I pity you. Damn It you. is your limited view that prevents you from seeing the grand vision. One day you will see the marvelous truth. That's never gonna happen. Weeding out the worms is an ever-expanding endeavor. You have shown me that some worms are worth saving. You and I are not that different. When the time comes for your ascension into your simulacrum, I will guide you to your eternal glory. Thanks, but no thanks. Okay, I'm stuck. Oh no, I'm not. What the heck's happening? The screen broke. What the? 
I'm braced for it. Oh, God. Ah! There's breathing in my ears. Ah! Anna came to me. She, she came to me. It, it, it came to me. It looks like her, but it's something else. It looked at me. I don't feel so good. What the hell was that thing? It's getting a hold on, on me. Taylor, I'm sorry. I can't, I, I can't see. I have to move my my eyes. My eyes. Are they still alive? Why am I being punished? I did, I did the right thing. I did everything right. It is me. Assignment. Because it is me. Assignment. Because it is me. Assignment. Because it is me. Assignment. Assignment. I don't want to see anyone else. Help me. me. Help me. Help me. Uh, is it over? Saves Anna by sacrificing Taylor. Okay, so that's the end of the game. You and 37% of players chose to deceive Ashley. You and 59% of players got Greg arrested. Huh? You and 37% of players reported more of sexual harassment. You and 65% of players got Taylor to trust your judgment. You and 82% of players did not turn Taylor into a murderer. So there's a few different endings to this game. To save Anna, you allow Taylor to be sacrificed. However, she might not be the same again. Is that what you intended? Simulacra has many Easter eggs and multiple endings. Play again and try for a different outcome. Did you enjoy your experience? Yes and no. I'm going to say yes. Great. Skip. Okay. Okay, it's just the title screen, skip. Okay, so, there's a new game plus, we might eventually do that. This game drained me, I don't feel like recording it again. There is the prequel title, or the, the, the game that this is a spiritual successor of, Sarah is Gone, and there's a Simulacra Pipe Dreams, which is like another story within this one, with, that I will play, just not exactly right now, maybe a couple weeks or a month from now. Uh, Dang, this game was something. It, it kind of talks about a lot of the things I talked about, such as social media and putting your best image forward. I don't understand exactly what that thing in the phone is, the simulacrum itself. What is it? What is it wanting? Trying to merge the, the image with the person? I don't get that. Uh, I wanted to save Taylor. I didn't know. It turns out maybe I should have because Anna's not the same. So I don't know what if what I did was right or if it was wrong. I might play, I'm going to, since I done beat the game, I have a feeling Taylor killing Anna is the next ending. I don't know about the other two. I might, I don't know, if, I don't want to look up the ending, but I want to know if it's majorly different, like, because some of the, like, I, I noticed that some, apparently some people chose to tell Ashley the truth from the beginning and let her know that you are not Anna, and I don't know how that went. I don't know if maybe if I sided with Greg every time, maybe Greg would have been the one instead of Anna. I, I don't know. I, I really just don't know. Uh, I might play through the game again and try to get all the endings. I might just let this be it and let you kind of guess for yourself or go play the game for yourself and see if what, you can do anything different than I did. But I really enjoyed this series. I think we completed it all in four or five episodes. Uh, so the game's about five, six hours long, depending on how much time you take. I took a little bit extra time, so about five, maybe four hours to complete this game. If you're going for all the endings, probably about 16 hours or so long. I don't know the exact time it would be. But anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed this series. Uh, I certainly did, and I'm going to play the others, but just like I said, not right now. I, I'd like to find more games in this style, because this seems very, very interesting, and I'd like to do more like it. So, thank you guys so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed it, and this is my first completed series on the channel. So, this makes me feel good about myself. 
This game was really fun. Like I said, it's five dollars on Steam, five dollars on your phone. Pick this up, if anything, just to support the developers. Uh, this game at first I'd never heard of it before, and now this is in one of my all-time favorite game list. Uh, just, there's something really special about this game. It can pull at you, and it makes your decisions actually have some weight to it. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed, and thank you all for sticking with me, and have a good evening.